As Iraqis have come to recognize that Saddam is finished, they are coming forward in increasing numbers with information. All over the country, local police and units of the coalition fo forces are receiving tips about where the criminals can be found. In the most famous case, someone told us where to find Uday and Kusay. Within hours, they were dead. Less than two weeks later, we have paid the informant $30 million and relocated him and his family safely outside of Iraq. We are going to get Saddam too. The only question is, who's going to get the $25 million and move to another country? The attacks will be reduced if we can kill or capture Saddam. Those are attacks which are coming to us from desperados from the Ba'athist party, the trained killers of the Fedayeen Saddam, and the trained killers of many of the intelligence services which Saddam had in this country. We believe that the death of his sons and eventual capture or death of Saddam will have a, uh, a beneficial effect on reducing these attacks over time. I said at the time of the killing of the two sons that I expected attacks in the short run to increase, and indeed that did happen for a few days as these people uh, reacted to the death of, of their leaders. There is clear evidence of an al-Qaeda-related terrorist group, the Ansar al-Islam, reconstituting its capabilities inside of Iraq uh, since the war. You will recall that there was an Ansar al-Islam base in the north that was attacked by coalition forces early in the war. Uh, with regret, I say we did not kill all the terrorists. Um, some of them escaped across various borders, and they have started to trickle back into Iran, and we believe there are now quite a number of these Ansar al-Islam uh, professional killers uh, on the loose in the country. We are doing everything we can to track them down and uh, uh, deal with them. I don't know whether we'll have more attacks when Saddam is killed. The Council will nominate the interim minister 